I feel like I'm crying, but like out of my neck and back. If you're into hot sauce, you'll enjoy discovering 10 untold truths of Tabasco. This hot sauce brand is made from Tabasco peppers, as well as a couple of other savory ingredients. The company's collection of hot sauces are made by the McElhenney Company. This company's factory is located in Louisiana on scenic Avery Island. In the old days, the hot sauce was packaged with the same diamond-shaped logo that is found on bottles of Tabasco hot sauce today, though it used to be sold in second-hand cologne bottles. Today, Tabasco is the world's premier hot sauce brand. It's a brand with USA roots and so much authenticity. Now, let's uncover some spicy Tabasco secrets. Really? The Tabasco Company was formed in 1868. The new seasoning, 100 years old. This Louisiana company, founded in 1868, is best known for its original red pepper sauce. The recipe for the original hot sauce gets passed down through the McElhenney generations. But how did it get its start? After the American Civil War, it was time for reconstruction in the South. During this period, food tended to be bland, and there wasn't a host of food options available. People ate what they could get their hands on. With a mind to spicing up the local cuisine, the company's founder, Edmund McElhenney, created a red pepper sauce recipe recipe that would add excitement and taste to even the blandest food. Edmund loved to garden and he loved to eat. When he was gifted with Capucin Frutison's pepper seeds, which came from Central America or Mexico, he planted them in Louisiana on Avery Island and then nurtured them with care. As time passed, workers at his pepper farm started using small red sticks called Baton Rouge to assess the ripeness of the crop. These little red sticks are still utilized today. Got hot sauce in my bag. Swag. Swag. Feeling the heat yet? Take a second to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad. We would be honored if you would join us. Tabasco sauce contains a trio of key ingredients. Hit it hard with a couple of shots of Tabasco and it's the bee's knees. The original red pepper sauce has just a trio of ingredients, which are salt, vinegar, and red Tabasco peppers. The premium quality of the peppers, as well as the ideal blend of ingredient quantities, is the reason why this red pepper sauce has become legendary and beloved. The peppers are aged to perfection before being used to make this spicy and addictive condiment. But if you want to experiment, take a break from the original sauce and try one of their other sauces too, such as green jalapeno sauce, which is perfect for Mexican recipes and dips. Another option is chipotle pepper sauce, which is renowned for its smoky taste. It's an ideal choice for barbecues. Other choices to enjoy include buffalo-style hot sauce, which is perfect for sandwiches or wings, and habanero pepper sauce, which is the hottest, spiciest option in the Tabasco collection. The habanero sauce is a Jamaica-type hot sauce with fruity elements. If you're into garlic, go for the garlic pepper sauce, which is made from a trio of peppers and premium garlic. If you love complex flavor profiles, opt for the sweet and spicy sauce, which offers perfect balance. This sauce is designed for dipping. The last choice is sriracha sauce, which offers decadent garlic flavor along with zero preservatives. As you can see, this brand has you covered. There is a pepper sauce for everyone, but the key ingredient to all of these sauces is carefully selected quality products. But the, the good quality kind. Only some of the Tabasco chilies are grown in Louisiana. Hey, what about the others? What about them? There's a chili pepper field right on Avery Island, which is owned by the Tabasco Company. Some of the company's Tabasco peppers are grown on site, while others come from other places. Demand for Tabasco products is high, so the company needs to source out red peppers from an array of global locations. That being said, there's always the chance that the Tabasco peppers in your latest bottle of Tabasco hot sauce come straight from the American South. During the 60s, the need for more peppers than the Avery Island fields could produce led to an operational change at Tabasco. The company couldn't meet demand by growing the peppers only on Avery Island, which measures about three miles across. So company execs decided to ship the pepper seeds to Latin America, where they own farms. Of what's still grown on Avery Island, some of them are utilized for research and development purposes. The company once tried to add more automation to the pepper picking method to speed up the pace of harvesting, but no machine could assess the ideal shade of red for ripe peppers. This is why these delicious and spicy peppers are still picked by hand, utilized the Baton Rouge. That's very interesting. Tabasco keeps the chili seeds in a bank vault. Why do you have a safety deposit box anyway? What's in there that you can't bury in the yard? I have things. Genuine Tabasco pepper seeds are precious. <sighs> precious. 
And this is why the powers that be at the Tabasco Company keep their red pepper seeds locked up in a bank vault. The team at the McElhenney Company are serious about protecting their seeds from natural disasters. After Hurricane Katrina, the company takes no chances when it comes to keeping its supply of these seeds safe and sound. Every year, the company harvests the most impressive plants, dries their seeds, and uses them as the foundation for the following year's crop. After the seeds are dried, they are divided. Half of them go to one location for secure storage, the others go to a vault. We don't know where the vault is. We're not supposed to know. It is top secret information. Most people don't realize that these seeds are so important. They are the backbone of a very successful hot sauce company with a rich heritage. Without these seeds, the hot sauce produced by the McElhenney Company might not taste the way that it should. And everyone knows how genuine original red pepper sauce from Tabasco is supposed to taste. Mmm, it's spicy! Salty Avery Island. Yes, salty. Tourists love visiting Avery Island and seeing the Tabasco team produce the pretty red bottles of hot sauce. This company has always been based in Avery Island, Louisiana. One fun fact about Avery Island is that it's a salt dome. The Tabasco company uses salt from Avery Island in its hot sauces. And this is yet another reason why Tabasco hot sauce is different from so many other pepper sauce brands. Avery Island is situated in the Iberia Parish of Louisiana. It's within a few miles of Vermilion Bay, which leads into the Gulf of Mexico. The population of Avery Island is small. We're talking 150 people small. That's the same number as the number of years that the company has been in business. In 2018, Tabasco hit the 150-year mark. That's an important milestone for the company and for Avery Island. It's my birthday! It's my birthday! Tabasco is a great add-on for fried chicken. Mm, I love me some fried chicken. Some foods pair so well with Tabasco sauce. One of them is fried chicken. If you want to add some spicy kick to your next batch of homemade southern fried chicken, be sure to use a recipe that comes straight from Tabasco. Combine a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a cup of original Tabasco sauce, and three cups of buttermilk in a big bowl, add raw chicken, and cover it to chill in the fridge for 6 to 24 hours. After, dredge the chicken in a mixture of two cups of flour, a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, Powder and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And now it's time to fry up the poultry batch style. After the chicken is fried, move it to a wire rack with a baking sheet underneath. You won't regret this delicious dish. Oh, you won't regret it, sir. Wanna bet? Tabasco sauce is perfect for fish, too. Les poissons, les poissons. <laughs> Adding a single tablespoon of Tabasco sauce to your fave fish recipe will be such an easy way to boost spiciness. Tabasco is a convenient product. It can be used in so many ways. Add it as a marinade for fish, use it to make spicy salsa that tops a fish fillet, or simply sprinkle some of the hot sauce on top of a baked fish. The only limitation is your own imagination. The official Tabasco website features tons of amazing fish recipes recipes, as well as recipes in other categories. Everyone has their own preference when it comes to a heat level for hot sauce. If you prefer milder taste, add half a teaspoon of hot sauce instead of a whole teaspoon. If you love spicy food, go for a teaspoon or more. Experimenting with Tabasco sauce is fun, and a lot of people don't realize how well it pairs with seafood. Whipping up a classic gumbo, which contains seafood and meat, will be a great way to use Tabasco sauce. Gumbo is the type of traditional Louisiana recipe that honors the Tabasco brand southern roots. Classic New Orleans gumbo. Wow. Other Tabasco chilies are grown in Africa. We already mentioned the fact that the company couldn't grow enough peppers to meet demand in Avery Island and then sent seeds to Latin America. However, we didn't mention the fact that Tabasco peppers are also grown in other locations. One of them is Zimbabwe, Africa. The seeds for the pepper plants always come from Avery Island no matter where they're grown. Aside from Zimbabwe, you'll find Tabasco chili pepper fields in Zambia, Peru, Honduras, Mexico, South Africa, Mozambique, Colombia, Guatemala, and Ecuador. But no matter where they're grown, workers always handpick the peppers. It's an old-fashioned system that endures because it really works. Call me old-fashioned. The hottest hot sauce gets physical. The hottest hot sauce in the Tabasco lineup probably won't cause a physical reaction, unless you really overdo it. Habanero pepper sauce is the spiciest sauce from the McElhenney Company, but it's not the hottest hot sauce in the world. 
That being said, some people may definitely react to it. Some of us have lower hot sauce tolerances than others. To find out why hot sauce causes physical reactions, we headed for the Scientific American website. Apparently, spicy foods stimulate skin receptors, which typically are responsive to heat. The receptors function as pain fibers. These receptors are responsive to heat and cold extremes, as well as stimulation that's mechanical, such as cutting and pinching. Chili peppers stimulate the pain fibers and trick the body's central nervous system. Typical symptoms of hot sauce overload include flushing and sweating. Some people enjoy the stimulation that very hot hot sauce brings. They like to feel the burn. Others find it unpleasant. They are the types of people who buy mild salsa. If you prefer hotter food, you're the type of customer that the McElhenney company wants. But don't fear, the company does attempt to cater to everyone by offering hot sauces with different heat levels. Spicy enough for you? You can tour the Tabasco factory and on-site museum. Mom, we can go on the factory tour and I can complain in person. Louisiana is a great place for a vacation. If you plan to be in the state, be sure to visit Avery Island and enjoy one of Louisiana's premier tourist experiences. On Avery Island, you'll be able to tour the Tabasco factory and its on-site museum. The island is also home to an animal and bird refuge, which you may also visit. While touring the factory and wildlife preserve won't be free, it will be very cheap. Seeing all of the Tabasco-related attractions on the island shouldn't set you back more than $12.50. You may check out the factory for just $5.50. Of course, there's other amazing stuff to do in Louisiana. After you sample hot sauce recipes at Tabasco and check out the factory, museum, and country store merchandise. Visiting New Orleans will be a smart choice. You'll love the city's French Quarter, as well as its jazz, its gorgeous St. Louis Cathedral, and its fascinating National World War II Museum. Now that you know so many untold truths about Tabasco, you may be tempted to plan a trip to Avery Island. The factory tour is popular because it's fun. For spicy food fans, visiting this factory is like being a kid in a candy store. Tabasco continues to sell because people love it. They know that the quality is consistent and that it's a key player in Americana culture. Easy to use in recipes and simple to sprinkle on top of almost everything, it's a condiment that is also low in calories. 100 milligrams of Tabasco has just 12 calories. I'm only eating foods with less than 30% calories from fat. You don't have to go anywhere to take a tour of more great Babbel Top videos. Stay right here and just click. And we'd love it if you hit that subscribe button and rang that bell to be part of our notification squad.